No one, no one uh, could have thought uh, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, five weeks ago, that Texas, as important as it is, would ever play the key role that it is playing and will play on March 4th. Things in Texas have heated up as the Democratic candidates make their case to primary voters. With the March 4th primary approaching, candidates and their supporters have been making stops across the state. Some voters have already made their choice, while others have questions. I'm going for him, I mean, not just because he's African American or whatever, but he's, I, I'm a Democrat as well, and he looks like he'll, he'll, like, he'll change everything. I just wanted to hear her in her stance on how she plans to even out, like, the tax breaks for the small percent of the wealthy, as opposed to, like, us, or me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even out the tax breaks for the wealthy um, versus sort of the rest of us. Well, a few things. One, I'm really proud that my mom tells you how she'll pay for everything. It's a really distinctive quality of her campaign. She's the most fiscally conservative person in the race. Um, so if you do go on her website, everything that she proposes, she tells you how she'll pay for it. You have a few things, sort of high level. One, she'll take away the tax breaks that the oil and gas companies received in the 2005 energy bill, something she voted against. Texans have been eating up the spotlight and listening to what supporters are saying. I endorsed and pledged my vote to Senator Obama yesterday at the National Convention, not because I think there's something wrong with somebody else who's running, but because I'm convinced he's right for America to bring the change we also desperately need. Sitting on the, uh, the, the Armed Services Committee, traveling around the world, seeing, having a front row seat to the issues of our nation and abroad for 16 years and before that when she was in Arkansas, this woman is absolutely, in my mind, and this is the number one reason, not as an actor, not as someone who's met her, but as a citizen and a voter, the reason I support her is I think she will be, I know she will be, the best commander-in-chief of all three of them. Change is one of the biggest messages being touted, and apparently it is what some people want. Change is like making change in America and um, putting our best foot forward and trying to be different and do something that's new. Whatever the preference or affiliation, Texas is the place to be. There's no place on planet Earth I'd rather be today than right here, right now with you people.